Welcome to Campbelltown. Back in 1840, Campbelltown was a quiet little village, and this building Quandon Cottage was once St Patrick's School. Today, it is the visitor centre. Campbelltown covers an area of 312 square kilometres, and over the next few minutes, I'll give you a preview of some of our attractions. The first portal call is the Campbelltown Arts Centre. It's a focal point for theatre, music, art, design, dance and workshops. Let's take a look. Campbelltown Arts Centre is a state-of-the-art facility and hosts gallery spaces. A performance studio. Sculpture garden. Japanese garden. Large outdoor amphitheatre. Workshops. And Art Centre Cafe. I've been learning ceramics here for the last six months and I like it because we make lots of different things with it. Well, I'm visiting from Tamworth and I think it's great that there's a space like this for the community to come down and relax and um, enjoy the art. And it's also a really nice place too and we really come, enjoy coming to the shows that they have on here so we come see comedians occasionally and, and some of the music they have on as well so we really like the, the sort of the feel of it and the culture that adds to the area as well I think. I think the Campbelltown Arts Centre is a wonderful place to be. You can come here and appreciate art in all its facets and that's exciting. It's iconic and it's so different and diverse. There's nothing like getting to clay, it's great fun. And make sure you visit the Campbelltown Arts Centre. Skateboarding is pretty popular in Campbelltown and the city hosts three popular skate parks. Locals perfect their skating skills at the Lamia Skate Park and the park is rated pretty high. In Bradbury, the skate bowl is situated under the shade of the trees. And in Macquarie Fields, the park is very popular. Um, they're pretty good though, they're rated pretty high. I googled them a few times and um, uh, this, this park is uh, it's new so it hasn't come up yet. But um, Lemire is uh, rated a 9 out of 10 in New South Wales. It's one of the best in New South Wales. The parks are really well built and the materials they've used. I mean, I know this park's been here for quite a few years. It's pretty big for um, like us guys and yeah, it's pretty fun. We meet a lot of people on the way. Campbelltown's got some of the best skate parks in the world. Skateboarding is a real art and we have no shortage of talent. Campbelltown has three leisure centres and every day our swimming pools are enjoyed by a variety of local residents. Over the years, a few swimming champions have come out of Campbelltown. Whether it's for training, leisure or fitness, you and the family can enjoy leisure time at the Gordon Fetter Place Aquatic Centre in Bradbury, the Eagle Vale Leisure Centre and the Macquarie Fields Leisure Centre. I like Macquarie Fields in particular because of the swimming lessons for the, for the kids. I joined the Campbelltown Master Swimming Club 14 years ago. I come down here an average of uh, three to four mornings a week and swim 1,500 2Ks. And in your old age, it's what you need. <laughs> Throughout Campbelltown, there are many parks and gardens, all maintained beautifully and enjoyed by residents. Campbelltown has some great local parks for fun, recreation and barbecues. Right in the heart of Campbelltown, Koshigaya Park is a wonderful retreat and on special occasions it becomes the focal point for entertainment and fun. There's nothing better than a good stroll or jog in Marsden Park. Grab the family and enjoy a picnic in Pembroke Park in Lamia or Hallinan Park and Ingleburn Reserve. 
This is Koshigaya Park in Campbelltown and um, I find this park very great for families. Um, it's very safe, there's hardly any roads that the kids can go on to. Beautiful parklands. Like Hilltown Parks is really amazing like other people like doing their seal, like having fun, like talking to other people, like their parents and play some games. And I just like the serenity of the place. It's quiet, hardly anyone comes here. It's very pretty, it's nice for a barbecue and um, great for walking the dog. I want to share those memories with my, my ch children. So I bring them back here quite often, not only to visit the grandparents, but to have a special taste of that place that was special to me as I grew up and hopefully it becomes a special place for them too. It sure is a special place. Now that you have found where to relax, grab a book from the local library and really relax. Bookworms love Campbelltown. If you're into research, quiet places, or just want to borrow, get set for a feast of words and knowledge. Campbelltown Library, Glenquarry Neighbourhood Centre, Minto, Eaglevale and Ingleburn Libraries are just waiting for you. You can borrow books, DVDs and CDs. A place where I'm bringing your kids and that, that's, you know, get the resources that you need for this school. The Ingleburn Library is very big. It has a lot of resources. Yeah, I go to Campbelltown Library to study for my HSC and it's got a lot, for, a lot of reference books out here and it's also really quiet. It's a great place. It's uh, come on down and it's for free, yeah. A day out in your local library makes good sense. The Georges River runs right alongside Campbelltown. It runs through some of the most beautiful bushland in Australia. Take a look. Campbelltown has wonderful bushland settings. Great for picnics, lazy weekends and losing yourself amongst the flora and fauna. You must visit Simo's Beach Reserve with beautiful white sands, barbecue facilities and wheelchair access. Or go bush and discover Frere's Crossing and the magnificent Keith Longhurst Reserve. The Keith Longhurst Reserve is one of the best kept secrets in Campbelltown. Or it was. Enjoy the bushland walking trails, the Australian native plants, and the peace and tranquility. I've been coming down to the Georges River as long as I can remember. Um, you know, there's just so much to do down here. You've got, you know, birds, lizards, snakes, kangaroos, koalas, goannas. There's waterfalls, caves, huge gums, ancient flora. Um, it's just a beautiful, you know, spot to come down. And um, no one believes it's in Campbelltown when you get them down here. I think we all love peace and quiet, but if you want to get your adrenaline pumping, you'll also find the locals love their competitive sport. The Campbelltown Sports Stadium is a first-class venue with a capacity of 20,000 spectators. And it's right beside Lamia Railway Station. The Campbelltown Athletic Centre is also beside the stadium. Many a great sportsman started their life right here in Campbelltown. Campbelltown has been absolutely wonderful for my athletic career. I had world-class facilities for training and to compete at, and the community support and the people of Campbelltown, absolutely wonderful. I thank Campbelltown with all my heart. Yeah, I grew up in Campbelltown. I, um, I had the pleasure of uh, being part of a great community, um, having the support of the, the locals and the, and the great venues we've got around. Um, that helped me achieve my goals in rugby league, and you know I was I was lucky enough to bring home a premiership for the for the Campbelltown area. And you know I'm just I'm just grateful of uh, the great city that I live in. It is a great city, and up the mighty West Tigers, you'll find lots of things to do in Campbelltown, and the locals will give you the time of day. Your journey starts here at the Visitor Centre in Kwandon Cottage. Come and pay us a visit, we'd love to welcome you.